Boom, I believe we are live. Yes, we are. And we are actually live in a different place on Facebook than we have been in a little while. We're live here on my personal profile instead of my business profile. There have been a lot of changes with Facebook lately. So I'm going to need you to do me a huge favor. There may be some people that are looking for the show over on the business page, not following the personal page. I don't know what all that looks like. I'm going to let you help me with that. What I'm going to do is just produce amazing content. I'm going to fire you up. I'm going to talk to you about why you need more money in your life. We're going to talk about money. Yes, I know. Oh my God, don't talk about money. Yes, we're going to talk about money. And we're going to do that today. So I need your help sharing this sucker out, tagging friends, helping people find it, so on and so forth, because we are in a little different location than we have been in quite a while. Speaking of different locations, I'm in one of those too. But we're going to dive into that here in just a second. Let's go. Good morning. 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 How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? See, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts. And welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? Man, that mic is blowing up over on the Facebook side. We got to turn it. There, we got to turn that thing down a little bit. Wow. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm over here gang banging on you first thing in the morning. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is um, Tuesday. That's right. Today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most and I do mean the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Hey, we are live over on my personal page instead of the business page. So if there's somebody that you know is typically watching uh, Hashtag Rising Grind, they may be looking for the episode today. Go ahead and tag them. Show them where it's at. I appreciate you, Don Sankey and Tanika Darity and Janelle Griego and Whitney Wells and Kim Fair and the rest of you over there on Facebook. If you could make that happen, I would greatly appreciate it. Listen, I am coming to you live from from Charlottesville, Virginia, which is an incredible little city. If you've never been here, you got to check it out. The place is just, it's a fascinating little place. The culture is different. The, uh, the energy is electric. There's a lot of people that are outside. There's a lot of tradition. It's just a really, really, really neat place. I love it. And we had an amazing day uh, here yesterday. I was here yesterday with the Carter Myers Automotive team and we went to a lake and we did some incredible team building activities. So I got to see my boy Sean Hayes, got to spend some time with him, which was great. Uh, I mean, we put blind people on paddle boards and made them swim around the boats. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. And Talal, by the way, if you guys don't know my friend Talal, he looks amazing. He's lost a bunch of weight. He's gotten in amazing shape. He just looks incredible. 
but we were putting blind people on boats. There were people that couldn't talk. There were people that had to be negative the whole time and, and be mean to each other. There were other people that had to be the cheerleaders and be, be positive. And it was just really uh, a, a lot of fun, right? Getting, getting the people in the water and making them change wet t-shirts from one to another. We had one activity where you had to chew 15 pieces of bubble gum at the same time and try to blow a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a lot of fun, incredible team building activities while we were on the lake. And then that led us to be able to get together and have some really deep discussions about where we are today, like where we are as a business, where we are as an industry, where we are as people and then from there, we were able to take the discussion a little bit further and discuss where we need to be in the future. What does the future look like? We understand the past. We understand the wins. We understand the celebrations. We understand where we're at. What does it look like going forward? And see, what's really interesting is I've been thinking about this a lot lately we as a civilization are headed on an incredibly unique and very interesting path. Incredibly unique and very interesting. We have things like electric cars that are taking the world by storm. We have global warming concerns that no civilization before us has ever been had to be concerned with. We've had things like pandemics and decentral, decentralized currencies. We have tech giants that are moving into the market with unlimited funds and crazy innovation. We have housing markets that are in unique places they've never been in before. People making massive amounts of money on real estate and just value, property values going through the roof. And people really looking at housing completely different. Some people are like, you know what? I'm gonna go live in an RV for a year. I'm gonna sell my house. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. People renting versus owning right now like all kinds of interesting things going on in our market. Uh, work looks different. People working, a lot of people are working from, from home or working on Zooms, working different things like that. Schools look different. Even how kids play nowadays looks completely different, right? Like the future is way, way, way uniquely different. Uh, crazy and moving rapidly towards us, like just spiraling to or towards us at a, a fascinating rate, right? It's absolutely incredible. So I've been thinking about all these things a lot lately. I think it's fascinating. I mean, just in my lifetime alone, if I only look at my lifetime, I look at things like phones that we didn't have, internet that we didn't have, uh big screen televisions and things like that that we didn't have uh uh, 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 I mean, 3D movies, right? You got 3D movies now, which they had 3D movies a long time ago, but they didn't catch on then. And I'm not really sure it's catching on now either, but they're trying. The technology continues to evolve, right? You've got MP3s and JPEGs and PDFs and a thousand other acronyms like I don't even, I can't even, I mean, can't even tell you how many different acronyms we deal with on a daily basis, right? IRL, PTR, <laughs> there's so many different acronyms, right? But I find it all fascinating. It's fascinating. And all of it is fueled and funded by what? What is it all fueled and funded by. Go ahead, you can say it out loud. I know you maybe don't want to. But it's all fueled and funded by money. You see, folks, there's something that you have to understand. Innovation without money is a great idea. Innovation with money can completely change the world. You see, we're talking about money this week on hashtag rise and grind. We haven't done that before. We're headed into our 900th episode. This is episode 896, I believe. 
We're headed into our 900th episode. We've really never talked about money a lot. I know sometimes it can be a controversial topic, but listen, it's it's more important now than ever, I believe. So this week on Hashtag Rise and Grind, we are talking about money. And what I am going to say to you this morning is you need more of it. Just going to put it out there. So I want you to sit on that for a second. While you're sitting on that, while you're sitting on that, let's dance, my friends. <laughs> Come on now, let's go. Let's go. For those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show. We're going to get that body in motion. All right? We got to get that body in motion. Listen, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. We need to get this body moving, rocking, shaking, get the heart pumping, get the blood flowing. It's also the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. If you're watching over on Facebook, I need you to hit the share button. If you're listening over on Clubhouse, I need you to hit the plus button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And invite some of your friends to come join us. I'm doing that right now. I'm inviting my friend Jared and Sam. I'm inviting Maggie. I'm inviting Gina and Rico and Joseph and Kermit and Lee. I'm inviting BJ and Teddy and Dominique. I'm inviting Diamond and Brooke and Michelle and Iana. I'm inviting Yvette and Stephanie. I'm inviting Nathan and Mary in the rundown. I'm inviting Melissa and Robin and Dan. I'm inviting My Ling and Tariq and Pete. I'm inviting Elena and Rob Moore. Rob Moore ain't coming, but I'm inviting Rob Moore anyway. I'm inviting AC, Lacey, and Alicia. I'm inviting McKinley and Kayenta and Josh Payne and Scarlett and Alexis and Elan. I'm inviting all of them. I'm inviting everybody to come up in here over on Clubhouse, and I wish you would do the same. To my friends over on Facebook, Apparently, <laughs> Facebook hates me, man. <laughs> They're not letting me see any of you guys' comments. But I see Rich Pinter. Good morning, Rich. How you doing, Amy Myers? How you doing, Gail B. Craft? We got Russell Hunter and Rodney Hatfield. What's up, Bruce Miller? I see Tina Kelly Overfelt's up in here. What's up, Scott Simons, Janelle Griego, Marilyn Wilkin. We've got uh, Jeff Baker is up in here. Vicki Everett. Good morning, Vicki Everett. How you doing, Cheryl Alexander, Amy Myers, Tosh Queen, Debbie Dowling Waha. What's up, Sean Jones in the house this morning? Morning. So interesting, man. There we go. Tom Popelka. We've got Kevin Haney's up in here. Emily Galler. Sarah Ferguson Colum. Great to see you over at Clubhouse. I also see, I already said good morning to most of y'all, but I also see coaches join us. What's up, Coach? And Tony Mo. Barbara in the red dress is up in here this morning. Great to see you. Great to see Rachel as well, or Rochelle, I should say. Great to see Layla and Tiffany. Great to see Lydia and Shuka. What's up, Shuka? Great to see Monica and Taylor and Barrett and Lana and what's up Janice great to see you what's up Nadine we've got Megan in the house and Ed and Robert and Allison and Armando and Renee is up in here Renee Noor she is my dear 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 friend love her she's up in here this morning so packed house over on Clubhouse great seeing all of you this morning it's an honor to share my mornings with you I'd love to see you live and in person and so I'm going to be in, in New York City at the Listening and Beyond Summit, July 29th and 30th. And I want to invite you to come join this summit. It's Listening and Beyond Summit. It's going to be over the top, New York City, July 29th and 30th. I'll be keynoting. Danelle Delgado is going to be keynoting. My friend Dave Kirchin is going to be keynoting. We have 21 other speakers that are going to be there. It is going to be the digital marketing event of the year. And to top it all off, my friend Amelia Antonetti, is throwing a massive red carpet New York City style party that is going to be off the chain. So if you don't want to come for the event, just come for the party. If you don't want to come for the party, come for the event. I don't care why you come. All I know is you need to join me in New York City, July 29th and 30th. It's going to be absolutely insane. So go get a ticket. Go to Lab Summit. Dot club lab summit dot club l a b s u m m i t dot club and go get you a ticket and go do it now.
Sorry about that. My uh, computer froze up. Interesting morning today. We've had really smooth technology, and we have an interesting morning today. All right, I want you to meet uh, my friend. <laughs> I say my friend. For those of you that are on Clubhouse, you're going to want to pop over to Facebook and take a look at this gentleman's face right here. At least Google him if you get a chance. Uh, this guy right here, this guy right here, his name is Lee Jin Yoon. Lee Jin Yoon. And Lee Jin Yoon is either, he either died at 256 years old or 197 years old. They're not sure. <laughs> it's one or the other. There's kind of conflicting records on exactly. He was either born in the late 1600s or the early 1700s. They, they weren't sure. But this guy lived to be well into his 190s plus. And what's crazy is him and many others have been able to shock us over the last few decades with their age, including this woman right here, a woman named Jean Clement, who, was, who lived to be 122 years old. She was the oldest, oldest woman uh, noted on record, oldest woman here on planet Earth that we know of. But people are starting to really shock us with their longevity. And this trend of longevity falls in line with the average lifespan that has been ticking up over time for human beings across the planet. So this average lifespan increase, what it causes is it causes us to underestimate how long life really is, right? We start to underestimate how life really, how long life really is. And so it's starting to tick up to the point where when you're in your 80s, the average lifespan will likely be in the mid 80s to beyond and could possibly even be, I just got kicked out of my own Facebook page, could possibly be um, in the hundreds based on technology, all of the things that are going on, so on and so forth, could technically be in, in the hundreds, right? And living long is great. Like, I'm totally all about living long, making an impact, <laughs> so on and so forth, right? Living long is great. The problem, that is, the problem is that because life is so long, people understand how much money they're actually going to need in life. Terry LaPierre just put it in the comments. He said, hard to plan the 401k that way. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is hard to plan the 401k that way. So people end up underestimating how much money they're actually going to need. And add to longer lives, you add things like crazy inflation and devalued currencies. You start adding these things and you're way off. And so listen to me, you need more money you need more money look check it out right now in 2021 okay i want you to think about this number right here right now in 2021 the estimated average social security retirement benefit in 2021 this is for the people that put 25 years working for some factory somewhere or 25 years working for some company they 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 retired, they got their, their gold watch, and now they're 65 plus years old and they're collecting their social security retirement benefits. They are getting on average $1,543 a month. $1,543 a month. I want you to think about that number. And I want you to think about your life later in life when you've put in the grind, when you've put in the hours, all of the work that you're doing right now, leveraging your companies, taking risks, being entrepreneurs, working for the man. <laughs> I want you to think about all of the work that you're putting in right now. And I want you to think, would you be happy? Would you be able to live the life of your dreams? If you were going to spend 
30% of it, I'm sorry, 25% of your life at $1,500 a month. Is that a great number for you? I don't know about you, but I see many, many, many people, especially in the auto industry, they'll come in, fill out applications. And I see them having to make choices based on this budget because they're not really able to do much else about it at this point. Maybe they have a aching back or arthritis or other ailments that keep them from being able to work in the workforce as they could when they were young. And so now they're having to live life on a budget after grinding, after serving, after putting in so much work for so many years. So I look at that and it breaks my heart. And so I want to challenge you today to be conscious of that elderly person that exists inside of you, that person that's going to be you in 20 years, it's going to be you in 40 years, it's going to be you in 60 years. I want you to think about that person and the obligation you have them to them today to get more money so that that person inside you can live a life of freedom, not a life of fear. Can live a life of joy and abundance, not a life of budget and clipping coupons. So listen, you need more money. Simple as that. And I'm going to give you three specific reasons why you need more money. Reason number one, you need more money, more of this green stuff, more of the green backs, right? More of the more. And I can't even say more of the dollar bills because it might not be dollar bills. Who knows? But you need more money. And the no, reason number one, you need more money is because your family is counting on you. You see, you might not go get more money for you, but maybe you can go get more money for them. You see, you need more money because whether it's passing down wealth or maybe it's paying for weddings or other types of events like that, maybe it's paying for college or helping helping your sons, your daughters, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews get into schooling or get into some type of program. Or, or maybe it's even as a grandparent. You're that grandparent that always shows up and always has snacks, always has a sucker, always has some Tic Tacs, always got some type of candy that you like to give the grandkids to upset the parents, right? <laughs> you're like sugar them up and hand them on their way, right? Even all that stuff, man, with inflation, the rising cost, cost of goods, all that stuff costs more. You need more money. You see, as cost of goods continues to increase, as supply chains, right, which I'm sure you've all heard about supply chains lately, as the cost of goods increase and supply chains continue to get disrupted around this planet, Trade bargains get shortened or, or, or shattered. More production here in the U.S. Ultimately, we're going to be producing more, pro pro more products here than we are overseas because of all of these things. So more production here in the U.S. means increased cost, increased tax, which ultimately means increased prices. All of your consumer goods are going to continue to go up in cost as things continue to happen around the world. I'll give you an example. We went to the dollar store yesterday out by where we were training. Uh, Janelle and I went to the, the the dollar store and at the dollar store, it was fascinating because at first Janelle had to use the restroom. <laughs> so she has to use the restroom and they handed her a, a spatula with a key on the end of it. <laughs> Which her face was just ridiculous when they handed her this bathroom key attached to a nasty old spatula, right? But at the dollar store yesterday, they had a bag of gummy bears. The Haribo gummy bears, the good ones from Germany. And how much do you think that Haribo bag of gummy bears was at the dollar store? It was $2. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, we're, we're, we're at the dollar store, the dollar, everything's supposed to cost a dollar, no, the bag of gummy bears costs two dollars, even at the dollar store, 
the inflation done hit. And this is going to continue to happen on all of our consumer goods all the way across this country moving forward. So listen to me. What you thought you needed, you need more money. You need more money. I'm just telling you. You got to start stacking and racking, man. We got to figure this out. You got to earn more. And if that means you got to work more, then you got to work more. If that means you got to uh, uh, spend less, spend a little less right now, then spend a little bit less. We've got consumers out there spending like crazy right now. Spending like crazy. People are spending, they're buying, they're, they're buying four-wheelers and razors and you know, fancy cars and all these things. And I'm just telling you, you're going to need more of that money than you think if you want to live the life you want to live a little bit later. If you want to be able to make an impact in other people's lives, which is the number two reasons. Number one, you need more money because your family, and by family, it could be friends, it could be cousins, it could be any of the people that you interact with daily. They might need you. And by might, I mean they do. Number two is when it comes to things like health care. Health care is getting ever more and more expensive. A, there's a rising cost of health care. That's not going to slow down anytime soon, especially as technology continues to advance, right? And with the rising cost of health care, not only do you need more money, but you need to understand that there are some treatments, there are some treatments that are only available in other places around the world, okay? Sometimes we can come up with certain sicknesses, certain illnesses where the experts are not always only in the United States of America. If you think the United States of America is the only place that has experts, you're absolutely out of your mind, all right? There are experts in other places on this planet. And sometimes the problem that you have or that your loved one has, that your family member has, is a problem that cannot necessarily be solved by somebody here in the United States. Now, I'm not going to go down this whole you know, rabbit hole. There's, there's a lot of different areas that we could go into to talk about this. But I just want you to understand that there are people in the United States of America, people, that approve and deny certain treatments. They say, yes, we can do that in the States. No, we can't. And you have to understand that people always have agendas. There's always some type of agenda that people have. They're connected to it for a reason. Maybe it's a personal reason. Maybe it's a financial reason. I'm not saying it's a bad or good or anything like that. I'm just saying, keep in mind that as people make decisions, there are increased opportunities if you have more money to be able to go find experts in other places outside of just the Americas. Does that make sense? And so maybe, again, it's not for you. Maybe it's a loved one that needs something. You can afford that opportunities if you have more money. So I want to get you thinking outside of yourself a little bit here this morning, okay? You might be like, I'm fine. I'm good. I got enough. I'm cool. I'll be taken care of. Okay, well, what about the people around you, the people you love? What about your loved ones? What if your child or your parent reaches a point where they cannot be helped here by the healthcare in the United States, but there is a solution somewhere else on this planet? You would want to be able to do everything in your power to find that solution for them, right? To get them out of that pain, to get them out of that struggle, to bring them back to a place of joy and abundance. That's going to take dollars to do that. Sometimes you need more money, friends. Number three, the last one, money equals freedom. Money equals freedom. When you have more money, you are free to travel the world. When you have more money, you are free to help serve others. You are free to find time to volunteer, to be able to pour into other people. Uh, when other people don't have the time or don't have enough, you will. You're going to be that person that has enough. You're going to be that 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 rich uncle that like they're like, man, he always comes through. She always has everything that we need. She's always supporting. She's always showing up. She's amazing, right? They're going to leave that stuff on your tombstone. Freedom, more money equals the freedom to choose where you want to work, when you want to work, how and why 
you want to work, how long you want to work, when you want to not work anymore, right? <laughs> Basically, money gives you the freedom to live your life on your terms. You want to spend more time with your kids? Then get yourself more money, dude. I'm telling you. Get yourself more money. You can spend more time with the family. You don't have to put in as many uh, uh, um you don't necessarily have to put in the hours the same way that we were always taught to do so. You might still choose to do that as you're building your company or depending on whatever season you're like, but you don't have to. There's a big difference. You see this word freedom. It's what it's all about. It's what our forefathers fought for. I want you to understand the definition of the word freedom. Freedom is defined as the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. It also says the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. Many of you listening to my voice right now are imprisoned or enslaved because you haven't gotten your money right. Now, I'm not here to beat you up about that. If you open up your hashtag Rise and Grind Planner, today's quote right at the top has the best words for you that fit perfectly in line with what we're talking about. The quote was submitted by Heather Fox. She's one of our Rise and Grind members. She's an amazing superhuman. And the quote says this, the best time for new beginnings is now. Listen, if you're not in a financial position you want to be in right now, that's okay. I don't blame you. I'm not either. You need more money and so do I. But what we can do is we can mentally and then physically start to execute on solving these problems so that we don't just keep saying we need more money. Next year, we need more money. Five years, we need more money. But instead, we start executing a plan today. We start learning more about money, learning more about finances, expanding our limiting belief systems that we have in our minds of what money looks like and how much we need. We start with the discussion. We start with the thought. The thought is followed by the word. We write down our goals and our targets of how we're going to change this, right? Thoughts become words. Words become things when we execute on them. So this morning, as your friend, because I love you, and I really mean it, I do, I absolutely stink and love you, I'm here to tell you, you need more money. So let's start today figuring out how we can make that happen. And this is the greatest part. You're a part of the Rise and Grind community, okay? We rise every single day with intention and purpose so we can evolve into the best versions of ourselves we can possibly be, so we can go make an impact in other people's lives, and we do it together. You don't have to do this alone, my friend. You, me, we are children of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything. And that God made us to work in tandem, to work collectively, to work together so that we can all rise. All right? So we're going to do this together. We're going to continue to talk about money more this week. We're going to give you some strategies, some investments, some different things that you could potentially do. But I wanted you to start thinking you need more money. Fair enough? Fair enough. That's it. All right. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow. 5.30 a.m. We'll be back. We'll do this all over again. Sorry I ran over on time. I just got a little excited. Um, but we'll be back. We'll do this again tomorrow. Man, I'm having crazy issues with my tech today. We'll come back and we'll do this again tomorrow on hashtag rise and grind. Have a great day. Oh, no. I Holy Hanson, you scared me. It's good to know the Calvary's here. Look, guys, I'm backed up like the 405 on Carpocalypse. Take the watch. Help yourself to a fat pill, yeah? I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot the shot. I'm coming in.